Hey there, it's Kelly Sparta again. Today I want to talk to you about perfectionism. So I have been trying to do these episodes of the minis for three days now, and I just couldn't get myself to do it. I was just tired. <laughs> so, you know, I'm getting to the point where if I don't get it done, I'm gonna not have any in time. <laughs> so that would be bad, right? And so there's this, this perfectionism that kicks in when you when you get into procrastination and, and all of this, then perfectionism can kick in as well. And so I want to talk to you about perfectionism in this context because we try to make it perfect, right? So, you know, oh, I gotta do my makeup, I gotta do my hair, I gotta do my nails, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, right? And, and at some point, you know, you just gotta do it. And it's not gonna be perfect. And it's never gonna be perfect, okay? Because we live in a world of constant change. And by definition, perfection is a moment in time at which everything is perfect, which of course, can't last because the world is in constant change. So it is physically impossible for you to end up with perfection for any length of time, right? And so the key is to let go of the perfection, but you know, the perfection's tied into a bunch of other stuff in our lives, right? We're like, oh, well, if I'm not perfect, then I'm not lovable or I'm not good enough or whatever, right? And those are deeper issues, and I can't cover that in the mini. I, you know, I would encourage you to listen to, to the longer episodes of the podcast, or even better, to sign up for the Inner Peace Program if these are your issues. But perfectionism, we can talk about here, right? So perfectionism is about giving yourself permission to be human and not be perfect, right? Because nobody else is perfect. And I, I got news for you. I got a little secret for you. Being perfect pisses off everyone else. Nobody likes a perfect person. We do it thinking, oh, wow, you know, we're going to be perfect and everyone will have to love us because we're perfect. But in actuality, it just pisses them off. It irritates them. It annoys them because you raise the bar past the point where anybody else wants to work and you just blow the curve. And if you were that kid in school like I was, you know, the kids don't appreciate it. The adults don't appreciate it either. So, you know, you make it easier on yourself and everybody else if you let go of perfectionism. And I know you're going to be like, well, I'm all about excellence. <sighs> the Pareto principle is also known as the 80-20 rule says that if you do 80% of the work, it is good enough. And I will tell you that is most of the time the case. And I am the queen of over deliver and overdo and over, 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 over. And I am now delivering 80%. And most of my students are like, holy shit, this is awesome. This is way, this is way cool, right? And it's because my 80% is higher than most other people's 120. That just is. And that's okay, okay? When you give yourself permission to be human, you don't have to be insanely, insanely, insanely ridiculous, right? And because I am who I am, I'm always improving. I'm always doing more. You will do that as well because that's who you are. And, but at this point, I'm doing it because I want to share everything I know, not because I'm afraid it's not good enough. And you see the difference there? It's, it's a, I want to make it better because I have more to offer and I want to, not because I have to. And the difference between want to and have to is the difference between loving yourself and not. And so I highly encourage you to give yourself permission to be human today. Be well. Do your best. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay? Hell, do mostly your best. And it doesn't have to be perfect. See, try it for a week. I know you don't believe me, but try it for a week. Try doing 20% less for a week and see what you find out. Okay? We'll talk to you next time.